I'm here because I have a very important message. I think we have found the most important factor for success. And it was found close to here, Stanford. Psychology professor took kids that were four years old and put them in a room all by themselves. And he would tell the child, a four-year-old kid, Johnny, I'm going to leave you here with a marshmallow for 15 minutes. If after I come back, this marshmallow is here, you will get another one. So you will have two. To tell a four-year-old kid to wait 15 minutes for something that they like is equivalent to tell us, we'll bring you coffee in two hours. <laughs> exact equivalent. So what happened when the professor left the room? As soon as the door closed, two out of three ate the marshmallow. Five seconds, 10 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, two minutes, four minutes, eight minutes. Some lasted 14 and a half minutes. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Could not wait. What's interesting is that one out of three would look at the marshmallow and go like this. <sighs> would look at it, put it back. <laughs> they would walk around. They would play with their skirts and pants, that child already at four understood the most important principle for success, which is the ability to delay gratification. Self-discipline, the most important factor for success. 15 years later, 14, 15 years later, follow-up study. What did they find? They went to look for these kids, they were now 18 and 19, and they found that 100% of the children that had not eaten the marshmallow were successful. They had good grace, they were doing wonderful, they, they were happy, they had their plans, uh, they had good relationships with the teachers, students, they were doing fine. A great percentage of the kids that ate the marshmallow, they were in trouble. They did not make it to the university, they had bad grades, some of them dropped out, a few were still there with bad grades, a few had good grades. I had a question in my mind. Would Hispanic kids react the same way as the American kids? So I went to Colombia, and I reproduced the experiment, and uh, it was very funny. I used four, five, and six-year-old kids. And let me show you what happened. Hasta para un niño de cuatro años es atractiva la idea de tener el 100% de retorno a la inversión en 15 minutos. Sin embargo, algunos de ellos, tan pronto la puerta se cerró, se comieron el marshmallow inmediatamente. Otros, en cambio, resistieron el impulso. What happened in Colombia? Hispanic kids, two out of three ate the marshmallow, one out of three did not. This little girl was interesting. She ate the inside of the marshmallow. 
in other words, she wanted us to think that she had not eaten it, so she would get two, but she ate it. So we know she'll be successful, but we have to watch her. Okay? She should not go into banking, for example, or work in a cash register, but she will be successful. And this applies for everything, even in sales, the salesperson that, that uh, 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 a customer says, I want that, and say, okay, here you are, the person ate the marshmallow. If the salesperson said, wait a second, let me ask you a few questions to see if this is a good choice, then you sell a lot more. So this has, this has uh, applications in all walks of life. I end with uh, the Koreans did this. You know what? This is so good. We want a marshmallow book for children. And they, we did one for children, and now it's all over Korea. They're teaching these kids exactly this principle, and we need to learn that principle here in the States because we have a big debt. We're eating more marshmallows than we're producing. Thank you so much.